Hello Hasbro fans, this is Seth for this Stories with another Star Wars action figure review and this time we're taking a look at the 2011 Vintage Collection and this figure is Bastia Sean from the Knights of the Old Republic video game. So, you know, before we go into this review, I have to say, um, you know, before this year, uh, not a vintage collection of figures, well, not really many, didn't really catch my eye that had been fiercely released. Um, there was a few, I mean, Bastille Sean here was one of them, and um, Denga was another. My favourite band, yeah, of course, that one would catch my eye, but not really many others did. I mean, Forda with Interchangeable Helmets or the Act Trooper Commander, as has been called, did, but. And a few, couple others that also been repet. Uh, like the Gamorian guy, but I didn't really catch my eye. This is one of the few that did, which is why I got this one. Um, I'll t talk about that a bit more. I mean, here's the packaging. Um, you have a portrait of Bastia Sean, of course. Star Wars Expanded Universe up there, and Bastia Sean's name, of course. And here is the back of the packaging. Okay, um... And of course, as it says, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic video game. It's really what you need to know. Um, there are some other figures listed on the back of the packaging. There's Ponda Barber. He was another that interested me. I may be tempted to get him at some point. Uh, Rebel Soldier. Nah. Um, and a few figures that originally meant to come out around the time of this wave, I believe, but actually got pushed back to this year. And I think much being released now, actually, are uh, Ayla Sakura. Namanoa and the Clone Trooper, which Clone Trooper is the five of First Legion. Um, all three of those I'm actually interested in getting. Um, Namanoa, especially. I mean, expanded universe characters are usually very unique and all. So yeah, and um, that's one of the reasons I bought this figure because very unique. I have to say, I really like the double bladed lightsaber, of course. Um, and the figure just looks unique. I mean, I'm a big fan of seeing female characters in this line. Um, I won't say they're majorly underrepresented. In the Clone Wars line, yes, but anywhere else, no. But at the same time, Padme and Leia does it indicate good representation of female characters in the lines. Yeah, but I really don't want to get into a debate about that, because uh, all hell would break loose. Um, she has come with a couple of accessories, as well as the double blade lightsaber, I'll give you a better look at in a minute. She also comes with a double blade lightsaber hilt, with blades removed, which looks great, very nicely done by Hasbro. Um, and now, show you the double blade lightsaber, and now give you a better look at it. So, here is the double bladed lightsaber, very cool easy to fit in the figure's hand and generally just looks very good, nicely detailed, the blades are done really well. There are times it's kind of hard to tell whether it's green or yellow, in fact I still haven't decided whether this is green or yellow. I'm f in the portrait image it looks yellow but the figure thing, the blade kind of looks green. I really don't know too much about this character, I mean I'm not really a big expanded universe person. I I know some people, uh, like Emil, who I know from Facebook, but other than that, I really don't know. Like I said, the main reason I like the expanded universe figures are because they are unique and all. I'll just show you what the Lotair looks like when you hold it in this position with one hand. Quite awkward when you do that. It very, could easily topple out and it does tend to wobble a bit. Anyway, I'll take the double blade lightsaber away for now so I can go over the actual figure. Detail wise, I really like their figure. Um, the only detail problem I have is maybe the face sculpt. Um, it looks good, yeah, and the hair, hair is done really nicely. Very nice job by Hasbro, but the overall face, it doesn't really seem exactly like the patching image. I mean, just give you a look briefly um, compared it to the face and the portrait image. The face kind of looks a bit bland, I don't know. Um, it, it doesn't really seem right. That just might be my point of view, um, but 
Eh, face sculpt, not really the best, I have to say. Um, back of the figure has some more really nice detailing as well. Um, just looks generally brilliant. Front of the figure, very good as well. And articulation is a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders. But what's quite weird is this one, her right shoulder, is very easy to move up and down. The left one, very hard and doesn't really tend to move. So it's almost like you've got one ball jointed shoulder and one swivel shoulder, actually. Um, kind of weird observation, but I don't know. Um, Shows come with ball jointed elbows as well. And they, so the, oh no, I just said that. No, I was thinking that had the same issue with the shoulders again, but it, as the shoulders, but it's actually a fact that this elbow was pointing in a different way, so yeah. And she has kind of swivel wrists, though they kind of seem like they're going to fall off a bit. Well, the one on the right. Um, certainly does. It's all a bit the right arm. It <laughs> seems full of thoughts that right arm. Um, swivel torso, swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. Um, and again, <laughs> only one ankle really seems to want to bend. Um, but overall, it's a very nice figure. Great articulation. Um, it does have some really weird flaws though. Um, a face sculpt could have been a bit better, and like I said, I mean, the right, this ankle has some issues, um, so does the shoulder, yeah, the other one is just fine, so I keep around the shoulder, but you know what I mean. So it's kind of weird, I don't know. But it's a decent figure, um, this one was made because, like, she won the fan choice pile for a figure, Back in, I'm not really too sure actually exactly when. I think it might have been 2008. I mean, I wasn't really collecting action figures back then. Not regularly, but. So I really don't know what the year was, but she was released last year for the first time, which is kind of helping why this figure is unique. But it just generally looks really good. Um, it, it, it's kind of weird because this figure for some has been hard to find but for others really easy I mean I never saw in stores got it offline on Amazon got on Amazon I should say um, uh, but I've also heard reports that some people say their pegs are full of Bastille Sean which is kind of weird I have to say but overall a very nice figure by Hasbro um and just looks really good. Love the detailing on it. And just a great figure in my opinion. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Oh. <laughs> Fail. I should give the rating first, shouldn't I? So I'd rate this figure about, I'd say, 8.5 out of 10. Face sculpt and the weird flaws I seem to have with the joints on this figure. Just kind of take it down a bit, bit for me. But overall, still a very nice figure. And like I said, if you haven't got already, I do recommend you pick it up. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. May the force be with you and happy hunting.